The Virgin's Pathway keeps the eyes on the target as it moves toward or away from you. To make that happen, a signal must be sent from the eyes to the primary visual cortex and then down to the midbrain from both cerebral hemispheres. The signal goes first to the primary visual cortex. As the target approaches, momentary double vision occurs. That momentary double vision activates neurons in the visual cortex, which send a signal to tegmental midbrain convergence centers located near the medial rectus subnuclei. Those nuclei stimulate the eyes to converge. When the viewed target recedes to a more remote location, this convergence pathway gets inhibited. The eyes diverge to become a line for distance viewing. There are three ways to disturb the virgin system. The first is poor vision. It disrupts the transmission to primary visual cortex centers, interfering with signals sent to the brainstem. As a result, the eyes will go out of alignment. The misalignment pattern will be a comitant esotropia or exotropia, depending upon whether the brainstem convergence centers liberated from cerebral influence overact or underact. Overaction leads to esotropia, underaction leads to exotropia. Eye movements will be of normal amplitude in all directions. Direct damage to descending pathways from the occipital lobe to the midbrain is the second way to alter the balance between convergence and divergence. The misalignment pattern will either be a comitant esotropia or a comitant exotropia. Eye movements will be of normal amplitude in all directions. Many conditions interrupt these descending cerebral virgins pathways. Fever, sleep deprivation, mind-altering medications, increased intracranial pressure, meningitis, and any form of encephalopathy. Damage to the tegmental midbrain is the third way to upset the balance between convergence and divergence and to cause comitant esotropia or exotropia. Eye movements will, as usual, have normal amplitude, and here is an example of that in a child with esotropia. This patient complains of new diplopia. He has full eye movements, but his eyes are clearly out of alignment in the esotropic direction. Cover testing confirms the esotropia by revealing outward fixational movements of the uncovered eye. In this patient, the cause was encephalitis.